we got something different for y'all today. I was recently blessed with the the game the demo game trailer announcement trailer for for the new game don't fret now if you guys don't know what no, don't fret is and the reason why i'm putting it on this channel is because the creators of it are very prominent in the nerdcore community you guys might know them known as rocket music um and just a bunch there's a bunch of just other nerdcore peeps that are attached to this and who have worked on this and um just a bunch of different people within nerdco who are a part of this and i thought it would be really cool to be able to showcase this on my channel um so shout out to shout out to everybody at rocket and shout out to everybody who's a part of this who was willing to give bless me with the the early link i'm excited to see what it got cooked up i'm actually been super hyped up for this game you guys don't know me i stream I, I when i do stream on my twitch i do a lot of like indie horror uh kind of kind of gaming a lot of them like i've done a lot of poppies fnafs uh indigo parks all those like the big the big ones um so i'm excited to see what we got with don't fret so without further ado, let's see what these guys got cooked up and let's get it cracking. Actually, before we start, wait, this following demo announcement has been proved for you by the foundation of contact Tech, music and sound by rocket music and the sound effects guy, art and animation, Jacob Hucker, Krim, shout out Krim, uh, Michael rushing, salty Jake Sakwa with voices from stupendium, toasty marshmallow, Jake neutron, longest solo ever, Oreo, CG five, Cami cat, rocket music, bunch of just homies of the nerdcore community. Um, yeah, so I'm so I'm super hyped for this, man. I'm super hyped for this. Let's see what these guys got cooked up. I'm floating to the end of the end of the sea. Pulling at my heartstrings to see what I see. The game and looks really good and i like the premise because if obviously nerdcore music is a big is, is prevalent within the nerdcore uh community and one thing i've always like i've seen like random tidbits and stuff like that when i was like at mpc and random but i like the overarching like vibe that has like just like the music i think the main character is like a little guitar and it just has that just it's very music oriented which i really like they they implemented um uh, within this within this horror game uh because that's what nerdcore that's a very it was it's very prevalent nerdcore music is very prevalent keeps changing my chords rearranging buried at the bottom underneath oh whoa whoa what the hell was that no 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 who the fuck is that I don't like the way that they just shot up like that. Okay, that was creepy. The tape head. Oh. Holy. I fucking hate this. I already hate it, bro. That, I don't know why that got me. Okay, go back. Just fuck you guys. Respectfully, no, I'm kidding. Oh, we're a little guitar case. What? Where am I? Bro, the graphics look immaculate, bro. I was wondering when you'd finally find time to pay me a visit. What the? I guess there's no turning back now. The puppet mom is pulling the. Wait a minute! This is kind of fire, dude. I like this, bro. We're getting we're getting some in depth to some of the characters. Like we got this person who looks to be the conductor. Find time to pay. Me. And then we had this. This dude, I don't know what the heck this dude's supposed to be, but like we're getting like an introduction to like a lot of the a lot of the characters that will potentially come across in the game. And I just like the graphics, man. It's still kind of it still has a lot of color to it and a lot of just 
of vibrance to it, but it also like with the way the lighting is, it's kind of still got those like deep, dark, like it, it just, it still's got that eerie feeling, which I really, really enjoy about a lot of like the, like the popular indie horror games, Poppy Playtime, for example, and Indigo Park, like they're just so colorful, vibrant, just a lot of life to them, but the, the it's still very deep and dark and eerie and creepy uh, behind all those like colors and the, and just the, the, just all that life, right? Uh, and that's one thing I've always enjoyed is being able to like dissect, like, okay, it looks all colorful on the exterior, but what's lurking beneath? What secrets are hiding? That's one thing I always appreciated with, with like indie horror games and trying to figure out. I guess there's no turning back. Now. The Pop and Bob's pulling the strings have locked you, their star pupil, inside. Stay in the light. Aw, man, we gotta solve puzzles. If you guys know, don't know me, uh, I'm notoriously bad at like puzzles within horror games. I don't know why it is. It's just like, whenever I play a horror game, my brain just goes stupid. And <laughs> and I could, I, I struck, I could take an hour to, to solve like the simplest of things. Um, so this should be, this should be interesting. Uncover the mystery. What the heck is that? Find him and bring him to my office now. I don't believe you. I know he's here. You're a monster. Fortune, fortune, what's your fortune gonna be? Fortune, fortune, take your prize. Play the demo October. Ooh, yo. Yo, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna hook your boy up with a, with a, with a demo link, I'd love to play that. I'd love to play it and show love. Uh, but no, this was a super dope. I'm a hype for this, man. I, I've been waiting for this game for a little bit. Ever since I heard that they, that they were coming out with, uh, with like a, like a mascot horror game, which I really, really, I, cause like I said, I just love that kind of stuff. Um, I'm curious. And if anybody who watches this, uh, is a part of the team if you guys are allowed to say of course um because i know there, there's a bunch of uh, i'm assuming there's ndas and stuff like that so you, the, what you guys can talk about is very limited but i need to know is this gonna be like a game that's just like it's like a one and done like once you drop it it's done or is this gonna be like a game like where it's similar to like your poppies and your indigo parks where they like drop in parts like uh i'm, I'm just curious um because I, and i don't mind either either one because in my opinion i know a lot of people don't like when there's like short like they play short parts throughout instead of just one entire game but it also kind of builds that hype up for those upcoming parts i'm just curious because i'm just curious if i'm going to be able to like play grind it like from start to finish off rip or if i need to like take my time with it because um because like they're, they're, they comes out in parts. So if there's anybody who has the answer to that, that can answer, let me know. Uh, but no, this was super dope. This was super dope. I'm hyped for it. Shout out to everybody who's a part of this. Shout out to Rocket. Um, I can't wait to, I can't wait to finally get my hands on this. This was super dope. Um, and yeah, if you guys haven't, um, by the time this, by the time this comes out, the trailer will be out everywhere. Go show these guys some love. The link to the original re, uh, trailer will be in the description. Go go run it up. Go show these guys some love. Go tell them. Go tell them one thing that you liked about the trailer. Um, to go tell them that Dean sent you. Um, but no, this is super dope, man. This is super dope. I I, I mess with this heavy. I mess with it heavy. 